Hi, I'm Mark Edders, assistant golf professional at Coronado Golf Course in Coronado, California. I played college golf at Grand Canyon University. I graduated in 2014. In that summer, I played in the British Am, um, made the cut. From that point on, I decided to turn professional, played mini tour golf in Arizona, um, and then eventually some Canadian tour stuff. That was kind of the end of it, just the cost was really expensive. Um, kind of had to start paying the bills, uh, set the foundation for my future. Um, so kind of stepped away from professional golf into um, more of the golf professional side of things. And that's kind of how I, I ended here. I came over to Coronado um, in March of 2017. Um, so I've been here over four years now. Um, I haven't played Kew Island before. I'll get a couple days to look at it. it it's going to be challenging. I've read and I've looked it up. I've kind of looked at it and I've heard that if the wind blows, it's extremely challenging. Um, but at the end of the day, we're still playing a golf tournament. We're still looking for, for good swings, good f fairway finding tee shots, you know, middle of greens. You know, you're not going to hurt yourself on a hard golf course with, with par. So we're just going to play conservatively with aggressive swings, I think is going to be the, the name of the game. We're extremely grateful for the P, uh, to the PGA of America for allowing the club pros to, you know, try and earn a spot in this tournament. Um, there's no way I've earned a spot in this tournament any other way. Um, so that is a great initiative and their continued endeavor to allow 20 PGA, PGA members into this tournament to showcase that they are more than just club pros, that they, you know, they have an awesome playing background as well. That's a, that's a testament to the PGA of America and, and how well they run their organization. Yeah, so it's tough, right? You, you know, you've got to balance this, um, this your job with, with trying to get better and trying to dial in a little bit. And I, you know, my wife and I, we just had a child six months ago. So, so we're trying to find that balance too. So um, she's been awesome. She's been fantastic with, with kind of understanding that I'm going to be gone a little bit more. Um, but I want to say thank you to the Grand. Um, they have let me come out and practice um, and they're going to help me uh, just get my game in a little bit tip-top shape. Seeing Brian play in two PJ Championships in the last five years, you know, that was a real motivating factor in wanting to do this um, and doing it so fast. Um, Brian's obviously a fantastic golfer with a great pedigree. Um, I just kind of looked at it and said, okay, if Brian can do it. Um, I'd like to think that you know I, I can get pretty close as well. Obviously, you know I, I'm not naive enough to think that the moment is going to be massive. Um, it's going to be extremely special. Um, so I, I try to find the balance of you know savoring the moment and understanding how special it will be, but not um, not hyping it up to the level where it becomes overwhelming. I'd like to thank my my wife and my son, and they've been fantastic and in, in just allowing me to come out here and, and get better. Um, I'd like to thank, obviously, Brian Smart and Coronado Golf Course for uh, all they've done. Um, I would like to thank Tyler and Footjoy for their continued support, um, and the section, the Southern California PJ section, um, for their support and their kind of uh, just um, just overall willingness to help the club pros in in the golf aspect as well as the the golf professional side of things. I am Mark Edders. I am part of the team of twenty.